I got a little rubber band shooter gun from my old work. They all signed it. Oh, and you know what? I got something from my new job. Okay, here it is. Look at that. But this tutorial is actually gonna be about distributing objects in Adobe Illustrator. So if you wanna go from point A to point B equally, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Sorry about the audio difference. I don't have a microphone yet. See you guys soon. We're gonna use a little heart shape because I am sick of circles and squares. So let's get this heart duplicated out evenly across the page. We're gonna do that two ways using the alignment tools. The first way is we're gonna take this heart and we're gonna select it and I'm gonna hold Option or Alt, click and drag while holding Shift and just bring the heart all the way across the page. So now we have two hearts. Let's say we just want any number of hearts to be spaced out evenly between these two. Now, in another tutorial, I could show you how to use the blend tool, but in this one, I'm gonna show you mostly the alignment panel options. So if we duplicate this heart out, same way, Option or Alt and holding Shift, and we just create a bunch of copies. Doesn't matter where they're spaced, just as long as all these copies are in between these two hearts. What we need to do now is select all of the hearts, Go up to Window, down to Align. We just need to get to our Alignment panel. And we don't have any options, so we need to show those options with this little hamburger menu, Show Options. Now down here we have Distribute Spacing, and that's what we're actually concerned with. You have Vertical Distribute Space and Horizontal Distribute Space. What we're looking at, and you can notice by the pictures, is we're looking at distributing them horizontally. So across the horizontal axis, I want these to be distributed evenly. So if we click this button, it distributes between the first object and the last object, every object you have selected in between those two evenly. Now vertical distribute spacing works the same. So if I had this heart lined up down here and then we had a number of hearts in between, I'm not gonna line those up, so we'll delete those. But if we wanted to duplicate these out again, we could select them all, select vertical distribute spacing. And it's gonna do the same thing this way as it did horizontally. So let's take it all the way back. I'm just Command or Control Z, undoing a bunch of things. And let's say we want to distribute each of these out at a specific distance. So let me bring a couple back. Okay, so right in here we just have a number of hearts, so any number of objects. If we select them all, we can space them out to a specific value, right? A specific pixel amount, if you will. But in order to do that, we have to align to a key object. Now you could select this and it's gonna select a random key object. To change the key object, as long as you have this set of objects selected, just click on one of them. Any one that you click on once changes the key object to be that object. Notice the uh, much more solid blue line around each. So we wanna start with the first one. If I'm gonna distribute these out to the right, I'm just gonna pick a pixel amount. I'm gonna say 20 pixels. And then I can select horizontal distribute space and it's gonna space each of those out 20 pixels. Watch what I do if I say, or watch what happens if I say do 50 pixels. Spaces them out even more, it's 50 pixels between each. Same thing with the vertical distribute spacing, you select your key object and you space out from there. So if we selected a different key object like this one and did the same thing, it's just gonna space it out uh, this way. So if we go to, let's say 100 and do that, it's gonna space them out away from that key object in whichever direction uh, makes sense for your set of objects. So that's two ways to distribute objects evenly in Adobe Illustrator. I like using this one a lot, especially if you're doing UI design and you need a very specific, like if you have a specific page size and you want 10 objects distributed, or if you don't know how many objects you want distributed, but you just want a specific amount between each, this is a good one to use for that. If you know how many objects you want, you could set one object here and set one object here on the other side of the page and just you know, add your 10 objects up and then distribute them all evenly. You don't, you can kind of be, I guess if you will, a little bit sloppy with, you know, how you sort of duplicate these out. They don't have to be, as long as they're in between these two shapes, it doesn't matter. It's gonna distribute them evenly when you click that button. So pretty cool ways to use the alignment panel to distribute objects. I'm beginning to ramble, so it's time to end this tutorial. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more tips and tutorials, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.